Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1982 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the California Angels and the Detroit Tigers at Tigers Stadium. On the mound for the Angels today is Mike Witt, whose record is 5-3 with a 4.62 ERA. And pitching for the Tigers today is Burt Blylevin, whose record is 4-3 with a 4.26 ERA. So we suffered our fifth loss in a row yesterday. Another one-run loss to the Angels. Uh, that was a 3-2 to two victory for the uh, California team. And Sticky Mickey, he hit his 18th home run uh, in the uh, eighth inning, or the ninth inning, in fact. But it wasn't enough as um, we've lost five in a row. And we head into today's game uh, really desperate for a victory. We lost Greg Brock, the Brockness monster is out for the uh, rest of the season. So I did, <coughs> pardon me, folks. I did make a um, free agent signing. It is Rod Carew. That is who I picked up. Uh, he will be our DH, and he'll be playing today. He did play for these same Angels this season. And uh, at age 36, they cut him loose. So uh, he batted 319 with a 733 OPS, despite having incredibly low ratings. And nowhere is he um, a viable option in the infield. So he's going to be a DH. We're paying $50,000 uh, prorated for the rest of this season. So not that much. Um, and uh, we will see if he can provide us with some big hits. He's going to be batting number two in our lineup. You'll see that here in a moment as we get today's game started. As always, I appreciate everyone following along, like, and or subscribe to the channel. All of our bullpen is available today. A nice uh, bullpen day yesterday. Uh, covering for Tom Filer, who pitched pretty well. Uh, did get the loss, gave up the three runs, but um, he went eight innings. So, uh, solid game for Filer. Bly Levin, the uh, current Angels have never faced Burt Bly Levin, so you have nothing to go on there. And here's the lineup for today against the righty Mike Witt. Again, Rod Carew at the DH spot, batting second. And uh, Ricky's back in there after the day off. Uh, Lou Whitaker was, a, was off yesterday. <clears throat> Mark uh, Wagner still in there. Shortstop, of course. Uh, Eddie Murray will be our first baseman the rest of the year. And uh, Eddie Miller will be in and right. So a little bit of a different lineup. And uh, I did, at the end of yesterday's video, I called up uh, Barbaro Garbet, But we put him right back on the bus to, uh, to Birmingham. So uh, here is the official lineup rundown for the California Angels for today. Batting leadoff in center field is Gary Pettis. Batting second in right field is Mike Brown. Batting third at third base is Carney Lansford. Batting cleanup and DHing is Daryl Sconyers. Batting fifth and catching is Brian Harper. Batting sixth at first base is John Harris. Batting seventh at shortstop is Steve Lubertich. Batting eighth at second base is Bobby Gritch. And batting ninth in left field is Don Baylor. Okay, Burt Blylevin. Overall, 10 and 13, not great. He hasn't really done for us what we needed. His 10th start in a Tigers uniform, 4 and 3 with that 4 2 6 ERA. 48 strikeouts and 61 innings pitch. That's pretty solid. I'll take that. Uh, opponent's batting average is uh, 270. He did get a complete game in there. Take a look at his log. He's lost. Uh, two of his last two decisions I guess I should say took a no decision in his last start versus Seattle and uh, gave up four runs on eight hits to the Mariners so oh boy we really need a starting pitcher to step up here and break this losing streak maybe it'll be Burt today and here is the Tigers defensive alignment for today's game three gold glovers in the lineup Eddie Murray Sweet Lou and Henderson out there in center field. Here is Gary Pettis leading off against Burt Blylevin. 
ground ball to Whitaker. And there's one out. So good start for Blylev. And keeping Pettis off the base pass definitely is key as uh, Mike Brown steps up and flies out to Miller and right. Two quick outs. Here is Carney Lansford. And Lansford pops it straight up at home plate. Parrish makes the catch. Okay, so a 1-2-3 inning. Nice start. We go to the bottom of the first. Here is the official Tigers lineup rundown. Batting leadoff in center field is Ricky Henderson. Batting second and DHing today, making his Tigers debut, is Rod Carew. Batting third at third base is Mickey Hatcher. Batting cleanup in left field is Kirk Gibson. Batting fifth and catching is Lance Parrish. Batting sixth at first base is Eddie Murray. Batting seventh at second base is Sweet Lou Whitaker. Batting eighth at shortstop is Mark Wagner. And batting ninth in right field is Eddie Miller. Let's take a look at Mike Witt. He just came off the IL yesterday and went right into the rotation. And he's pitching today, making his ninth start. The 22-year-old is 5-3 with a 462 ERA. He's thrown 60 innings so far this season, striking out 36. Opponents are batting 247 against him. Holy cow, he's got three complete games in eight, in eight starts. Maybe... Uh, that it could explain why he went on the IL. Holy cow. Fastball tops out around 89 miles an hour. He is a ground ball pitcher, over 50%. His hard curve, hard curve, is uh, rated in 87. Fastball, change, and slider all below average, but uh, he's still developing. Rated an 84 overall with uh, a max of 95, so he's got a little ways to go. Let's see if uh, we can get some runs on the board against Witt. Same defensive alignment as the first two games with uh, Don Baylor out there in left. Uh, definitely a liability. Here's Ricky Henderson leading off. Fly ball out to Baylor. And there's one down. Okay, here is Rod Carew against his old team. Maybe he's got something for him today. Oh, he strikes out. Come on. We cannot get a break. Two down. Here's Mickey Hatcher. He had his 18th home run yesterday. As his average is now down to 316. A 1 2 3 inning for Witt. We go to the top of the second. Here is Daryl Sconyers leading off. Sconyers, Harper, and Harris. Sconyers infield single as Wagner could not make the play. Runner on first for Brian Harper, the catcher. And a base hit through the right side of the infield. Sconyers holds at second. First and second. Nobody out. John Harris is up. Harris sends it to dead center field. Henderson makes the play. Sconyers tags and takes third. We're going to keep the infield back to try to turn two with Harper at first there. Uh, Lubertich just has average speed. Uh, base at the left. And we are down one to nothing on the single from Steve Lubertich. All right. First and second, one out. Here's Bobby Gritch. And Gritch just hit a home run. Four to nothing, Angels. Bobby Gritch, his 10th home run of the season. And um, I don't even know what to say anymore. Uh, as Baylor grounds out to second. And Gary Pettis, base hit the left. Five hits against Blylevin already here in the second. Will Pettis be going up four runs? Yep. And he's safe. 
And then Blylevin strikes out Mike Brown. Damage is done. We're down four runs. It's early. But uh, we have not shown any signs of life offensively. Gibby leading off the bottom of the second. Ground out to second base. Lance Parrish, weak grounder to short. And Eddie Murray. All ground balls. That's what it, what it does. He induces the ground ball. We go to the top of the third. 4-0 as Carney Lansford steps up with a ground ball to Wagner. One out. Here's Daryl Scanyers. Kind of a little weak line drive at Hatcher at third. He makes the play. And then Harper rips it into left field. That should be a double. A triple. The catcher with a 66 speed legs out a triple into left field. Makes no sense. That is his second triple on the season. Must have got to the corner and rolled around out there for Gibby. Here's uh, Harris. Runner on third. Two outs, and Harris flies out to center field. So, Blylevin keeps him off the board. You go to the bottom half of the third. Sweet Lou leading off. Lou popping it up. Tigers are, again, hitless against a rookie pitcher. Uh, yeah, I mean... I have no idea what to say anymore as uh, Wagner walks. At least Wagner still finds a way to get on base. Eddie Miller batting 365. Flipping it out to left. There's two outs. Back to the top of the lineup for Ricky. He walks. Second walk of the inning. And a chance for Rod Carew. To uh, be part of the Tigers offense. And he walks. So the bases are loaded. Still no hits. Uh, Mickey Hatcher's up. Now Hatcher does have a grand slam this year. He has two grand slams this season. Well, two grand slams in his career. I believe one of them was this year for Detroit. So he's capable. But we'll just take a base hit. Come on. Nope. So... Tigers are still hitless. We leave the bases loaded. Top of the fourth. Here's Steve Lubertich. Ground ball to Whitaker. One down. Next up is Bobby Gritch. Hit that three-run shot. In the second. And here he grounds out to first. Murray makes the play. Two down for Don Baylor. Taking a cut, popping it up into short center field. And Whitaker drops it. Another Tigers error. That's going to bring up Gary Pettis. Yeah, well, Whitaker get another shot at it. Try closing your eyes this time. There he goes. He made the play. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. We got Gibby Parrish. And uh, Murray. Gibson strikes out. <clears throat> and Parrish grounds out. Oh, no. An error by Lubertich. Allows Parrish to be safe. Runner on first. And a base hit for Murray. There's the first base hit. I was about ready to say... Um, I, without looking it up, I believe Mike Witt threw a no-hitter on the last day of the season in 1990. Um, I'd have to look that up to double-check it, but I believe that is true. Okay, first and second. Definitely double play candidates on the base pass for Lou. Lou cannot hit righties this year for some reason. Betting only 239. Strikes out looking. Couldn't even take a cut. It's going to leave it up to Mark Wagner. 
Wild pitch. Moves the base runners over. And Wagner grounds out to second. We leave two stranded. Go to the top of the fifth. Mike Brown leading off. Brown popping it up. Wylevin only at 48 pitches. I mean, he's been pretty solid, actually. I mean, he gave up a lot of hits early on. As he strikes out Lansford, 2Ks for Burt. And then Sconiers. Oh, a sharp ground ball to Whitaker. I thought that was a base hit for sure, but it's a 1-2-3 inning. We are going to the bottom of the fifth. Tigers still down four. Eddie Miller leading off. Miller taking strike three, looking. One hit. There's Ricky Henderson. Base hit to center. We're down four. Gary Pettis is a gold glove winning uh, outfielder. I mean, not yet in this simulation, but uh, in real life, he did win a gold glove. 1-1 one, one, one for the Tigers. So... We are going to hold Henderson, and we're going to hit and run. Wow, look at that. 78% chance of stealing second. <clears throat> uh, I think we hit and run. Let's, let's get everybody moving. Oh, God. A ground ball back to the pitcher. Henderson advances. And a fly ball. Hmm. We're going to the sixth. Ply 11 at 60 pitches. Let's take a look at the in game stats. Nobody. Nobody's getting player of the game today. Ryan Harper leading off. Ply 11 popping it up. Getting a pop up to uh, Wagner at short. One down. Sharp line drive past the glove of Hatcher for a double. That's a double for Harris, his 25th on the season. And another Angel in scoring position as Steve Lupertich steps up. He had a big, uh, knocked in the first run of the ball game in the second inning. Here he flies out to right. Two down for Bobby Gritch, and Blylevin walks Gritch. Only the first walk today. That will bring up number nine hitter, Don Baylor. He was safe on a error, and he just crushed it off the wall. Everybody scores. It's six to nothing. That is the 15th double for Don Baylor. Baylor got his first stolen base of the season in yesterday's game. Blylevin's given up six runs today. And only on 83 pitches. There's another base hit in the center field. Baylor will score easily. And that's it for Burt. We're going to bring in Tom Hume. He's been bad. He's given up a run in four of his last five outings. His overall numbers are still hanging in there, but, um, you know, he doesn't have good ratings to begin with, and uh, we've really uh, overutilized him this season as Brown flips it to right. And that'll do it. <clears throat> Three more runs for the Angels, seven to nothing, California. Gibby up, leading off the six. A weak ground ball. The first, Harris steps on the bag, one out. Harris popping it up. Murray's got one of the two hits for the Tigers. He slaps it into left. And Whitaker flies out. We're going to the seventh. We'll leave Tom Hume in there. 
it's really unfortunate that uh, Greg Brock got injured. Um, I think he's a fan favorite. Uh, having said that, he wasn't even batting 240 this year. So, uh, you know, he really contributed with home runs, but, um, I mean, and, and really, is he better than Eddie Murray? He might be. We've made a lot of bad trades this year, and uh, Dawson, the, the free agent signing, was terrible. So uh, we are the architects of our own demise, as we are on the verge of losing six straight. Mark Wagner well, drops one into center field for a base hit. Wagner's been on base twice. Miller walks. First and second, nobody out. Ricky flying out to right field. <clears throat> Wagner will tag and take third. I mean, there's no strategy that I can do <laughs> when you're down seven runs. You can't really steal. I mean, we can hit and run in this situation to stay on the double play with, with uh, Carew with his terrible speed, but instead he just pops it up. Absolutely useless. And Hatcher will hit a three-run bomb. That's number 19. <laughs> Sorry, folks. You know, I still got a COVID cough, and it's just making things that much worse. Um, but uh, that is the 19th home run for Hatcher, and another three RBIs. He's worth taking a look at real quick. 84 RBI on this season. His 19th home run. The OPS still over 8 <laughs> Over 800, that's um, impressive, no doubt about it. 148 hits, I mean, he leads the team in all these categories. So, um, maybe we get to the bullpen here, we can do something. Mike Witt at 109 pitches. Oh, no thanks to Gibson, he's now 0 for 4. He took an 0 for yesterday too, he walked three times. But Gibson's uh, average is spiraling. Uh, downward. Okay, Tom Hume. We're taking him out. We're going to bring in uh, Dave Rucker to go after the lefty. Take a look at Rucker. 54th game, 8 and 6. Only one blown save, uh, but solid numbers otherwise. He, again, like most of our uh, relievers, I feel like he's been poor lately, but I guess I'm wrong. I mean, uh, well, yeah, 420, ouch, ERA in his last 20 games. So I guess that is not good. More 15, uh, 19 hits and 15 innings and five walks. So four and three and three saves. So I guess he has been kind of shitty. He's going to get Harris to fly out to Henderson in center field. There's one down. All right. We're going to take him out and uh, bring in uh, Roger Weaver. We'll give him some action. Hasn't been in the save opportunity in forever. And this will not be one of them as Lubertic flies out to left. There's two down. And Bobby Gritch already got a dong today. It's a liner to the left. <coughs> We're going to the bottom of the eighth. Mike Witt, 113 pitches. Parrish, he has an 0 for today. And he walks. Mike Witt officially tired. I guess we can use a little strategium as we <laughs> we'll, we'll hit and run. We have had no success with hitting and running today. Yeah. Uh, so a ground ball pitcher induces three pop-ups during hit and runs. Otherwise, it's all ground balls. What a bunch of horse shit. It doesn't matter. We're just going to let it swing. There we go. Go to the weakness in outfield there. Line drive off the wall for Whitaker. A very rare double for him. 13th double on the season. 
as an everyday player, that is poor. But, I mean, he does have a career high OPS. I mean, I, well, if you, don't, if you take away 1979. So you can't really bitch too much about Whitaker. Mark Clear into the ball game in relief. This is a save situation. That is a consistent pitcher right there, folks. 23 saves, one bluey. And he, I mean, those are some good numbers. Opponents are batting 179. And uh, it's going to be up to Mark Wagner to draw this game a little closer. Oh, wild wow, pitch. So a wild pitch does make it a safe situation. 7-4. to four. Well, you know, now we could just ask for a sack fly. What is a Mark Clear? He's a ground ball pitcher. Not as extreme as uh, Mike Witt. Can Marky Wags hit it to the outfield? Oh, that might get it done. <coughs> oh, we're going to test him. At least it's Brown. What could Brown do for you? Not a damn thing. Tiger score. Good job, Marky Wags. 7-5. to five. Team's got a little life in it. Let's see if we can get Miller on base. No, he strikes out on a great curveball. That'll do it. We're going to the ninth inning. We're down two. We have a righty, a switch hitter, and a righty up. So we're going to bring out Weaver for the second inning. This is not something I like to do. And that's why. It seems like the second time out in this uh, simulation, they always get clobbered. <clears throat> so Baylor on first with the base hit. Ten hits for the Angels. Here's Gary Pettis. Pettis popping it up to Whitaker. <clears throat> There's one down. Here's Mike Brown, 0 for 4 with a K. Mm, slugs it to center. Henderson makes the play. Two down, runner on first. Carney Lansford strikes out. Good job by Weaver. <clears throat> Keeping this in the ball game, going to give us a chance here. We've got Dave Henderson, Dave Henderson, Ricky Henderson, I should say, leading off. Ricky, one for three with a walk today. Oh, a strikeout on the inside under his wrists. Two Ks for clear. Let's see if Carew can do something here to help the ball club today. Hey, base hit to center field. That's a pinch running situation. All right. I wish he could come through when we had the bases loaded. So pinch running, we are going to bring in. Uh, Bass is an 85. Dawson is an 82. Kojo had a little bit of speed. 84. Okay. So it's going to be Kevin Bass. So Bass in it first. <clears throat> and the hit and run maestro is up. We're going to hit and run. If he misses, <laughs> this is going to be a strike him, strike him out, throw him out. Only a 67% chance for Bass. Oh, come on! Another freaking pop-up. It's going to be up to Gibby. Gibby is due, folks. If you take a quick look at his log, he hasn't had a hit in forever. He's got one hit in his last seven ball games, eight including this one. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Base hit. Up against the wall. Another teaser ball game. You know that we're not going to win, but it's actually pretty fun to at least make this interesting and Lance Parrish yeah that's what they do so Gibby got a double Tigers lose seven to five and we've lost six in a row and we are a really really terrible ball club right now okay let's take a look at the standings still a half game up <laughs> on New York and Kansas City I mean look at Seattle I mean they've won 10 in a row Kansas City's two and a half back. 
And um, Seattle is unstoppable right now. I mean, if we had to play Seattle in the playoffs, even if we were to make it, and I don't think we're going to make it now, but if we were to make it, we would get clobbered by Seattle. Let's take a look at the National League. Um, yeah, Philadelphia retook the lead. It was St. Louis for a while there. So the uh, Mets and the Cardinals are one and a half back, and the Cubbies are just three back. Montreal, four games under 500, are, is only six and a half back. West is done. Wow, the Reds have 80 wins already. And uh, that division is all but over. Let's take a look at the transactions. Oh, Jerry Grote finally retired. He was um, in the um, on the bench for the uh, Royals. They finally sent him back down and brought back Glenn Borgman. And, uh, and Grote was like, well, I don't want to be on this losing team anymore. So he retired, and then uh, the Astros, Joe Necro, pitching in relief this year. It's going to miss a couple days. Okay, let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Sorry, folks. Uh, I mean, our team sucks. 6-11 and 11 in August. Now, is this, if you have been around long enough since our 1980 season, you might remember that we tanked it horribly in September. Is this worse than that? I don't remember, but I, if you went back and watched any of those games in September of the 1980 season, holy shit, we could we just got clobbered every game out, and this might be that situation. We're going to give it to uh, Mickey Hatcher today. 19th home run, home runs on back-to-back -back days. Burt Blylevin, absolutely dog puke, uh, giving up seven runs in five and two-thirds innings. And only 83 pitches. Bullpen does what the bullpen has done all year. And that's pitched solidly. Mike Witt gets the victory, 6-3. and three. Mark Clear gets his 24th save. That's it. We're going to come back tomorrow. And uh, we've got the last place Minnesota Twins coming to town. Maybe just what the doctor ordered. We will find out. Until then, everyone, have a great night.